<laughs> Gotta find that right person. It is brutal. It really is. When you're in the wrong... If you're in a relationship, when you're with somebody awful, I call that a relationship. But it does happen. You're with that person, start arguing about nothing, right? That's the thing, is you start getting in the weirdest... You're trying to find things to argue over. Because we can never just be adult and look at each other and go, Hey, you know what? Hey, come here. Come here for a second. Uh, we're fucking over, aren't we? All right, you go that way. I'll go this way. It was good times. No. Instead, you're like, let me just stick around for five or six years and then we can end this thing violently. Let's do that. Girls, you will stay in a relationship for years with a guy that you don't even like. And you make the weirdest excuses to stay. Your friends even see it. Your friends will be like, Lisa, why don't you just go? Lisa, seriously. Lisa, we're here because we're concerned about you. And he's a dickwad. We want you to just go. Right? You're like, I can't just go. I can't just go, Karen. It's not that easy, okay? Like, you guys think I can just go. It's not that simple, all right? My CDs are in his truck. <laughs> so you start fighting. You start fighting over the weirdest things, right? Just weird stuff, right? Honey, honey, why don't you put the fucking DVDs in order so I can find Uncle Buck the second I want to watch it? This shit's all scrambled up because you're a fucking retard. Why don't you put these in order? In order! Now fight me for three days because I'm bored. <laughs> and you get into it, man. You get into it. The battle has begun. And let me say this. When you're in that kind of fight, when you're in that kind of conflict, men and women, we want two different things. We have two different destinations during that fight. Girls, I'm going to tell you what guys want right now. This is our goal during the fight. We want to make you cry. Yes. Not a lot of crying. Not that heavy uh, weeping. No, because that's obnoxious. Knock it off. No. Just that little tear, that one little tear, the one you try to hide by going, why would you say that? Why would you say that? The second we see that little glistening tear, we're like, yes, aha, I win, I'm the winner. Go call your mom and talk for four hours, I'm gonna play Xbox, I win. <laughs> we get our headset on, hey, what's up guys? <laughs> I just made my chick cry. Hey, where's the Gatling gun? That's what we want, instant gratification. If we can make you cry, we feel like a winner. Now, let me tell you something. Let me tell you why women, you win 99.9% .9 of all fights. Yep. Yep. And I'll tell you why right now. Here it is. Because you are mental terrorists. You are brain ninjas. And you know how to get in there with your katana and just cut us and disappear into the night. I'm going to tell you right now, this is how they do it, guys. I'm going, to, I'm going to help you so you know when it's coming next time and you know how to maybe try to stop this encounter from happening. This is what's going to happen. You're in the fight, okay? It's going back and forth. She's preparing to say a comment, okay? She's going to comment on tap that she's going to say. And it's the tiniest, it's just a little tic-tac-sized comment. But this is a fucking detonator. And she's gonna say it, and it's gonna go deep into your cerebellum, and it's gonna sit there. And at some point, three days later, 30 days later, it's going to explode, rotting you from within. I'm telling you right now. She's gonna say this comment, and here's when you know it's coming. Physically, I can show you when it's coming right now. This is the physical movement that she's gonna give to you. If you're saying, Dane, how do I know? How can I prepare myself? Here's when it's gonna happen. During the argument, there's going to be a point where she's going to stop and change her game up. The minute she starts agreeing with everything you're fucking saying. <laughs> Look out! You are in trouble, okay? And I'll show you physically what's going to happen. You're going to see her leg do this. <laughs> the moment her legs <laughs> locks like this, you've just driven into fuckville. And she's the mayor. So she's locked. <laughs> They're loving it right now. They're loving it. <laughs> now at this point, 
she's going to start agreeing with everything you're saying and that's bad. The moment you start hearing her go, you know what, you're absolutely right, you're absolutely right, and I don't even know. Why would I even know? Because you're the czar of right, and we're all just floating in the sea of wrong as you go by in your ship of right. Just please, tell me, throw me a lifeline so I know. You're right. I don't even know if I'm right about this. I could be wrong about right now, but you know. Why don't you tell me if I'm right right now? <laughs> right there. The minute she starts hitting you with that, you better be prepared, because there is a fucking torpedo in the water. And it's coming to get you. Okay, so physically, here's what she's going to do. She's going to lock the leg. And then after she's done with her little, you're right, you're right, she's going to do something with her, with her hand, with her arm. And it's always different, but it involves touching her own face and then doing some kind of windshield wiper movement. <laughs> She's gonna do, vary it up, it's gonna be something like this. Uh, <laughs> mm -hmm. And look for this. That's bad. Um, no, you go, you go ahead. <laughs> Now, here's what she's going to do. She's going to pivot her body. She's going to pivot, and then she's going to take three to five steps. Three to five. Three to five, and she's going to slow down. She's going to cock her head to the left. She's going to say the comment. She's going to say the comment, and here's the thing. There'll be no emphasis. It'll be very subtle. It'll almost be a whisper. And why is that? To make you listen. And it is going to be a destroyer of worlds. It's something like this, right? She does the thing, <laughs> she's going to turn, and then she's going to go like this. Well, you're stupid like your father. <laughs> and at first, that means nothing. At first, we laugh at it. You say it, you walk away, we're like, <laughs> what does that even mean, bye? <laughs> we have no idea that you just fucking ninja our brain. We're gonna be in the basement 40 minutes from then, just pacing. And it's gonna slowly start to seep in. We're pacing back and forth, thinking about it. <laughs> Stupid like your father. <laughs> My father's a brilliant man! You don't even know! <laughs> Explosion. Now we're starting to spiral down. And so it's at this point, we need to fucking fight some more. So what do we do? We come looking for you. We come looking. And we can't even remember the layout of our own house. We're like, where the fuck do I live? That is a pantry. Where does... When we finally find you, you're always in the kitchen. You're in the kitchen and you're feeling victorious, and you're sitting there eating some oodles and noodles. And here's the mistake that we make as guys. On the way to the fucking kitchen, we didn't come up with anything to say. <laughs> we have no dialogue prepared. And that's the first mistake, because then when we get in there right away, what do we default to? We swear a lot more, we get louder, and we point out the obvious, right? We come in, oh yeah, she's gonna eat fucking noodles. So you're gonna fucking do it, just eat fucking noodles on your ass. He's gonna sit there, ooh, you're fucking, yeah? Eat fucking noodles all day, is that what you're gonna do? Eat that fucking noodles? Yeah, like, who bought the fucking noodles? Who bought the fucking noodles? Just tell me who bought the noodles, then I'll leave you alone. I did, that's right, I bought the fucking noodles. Enjoy my fucking noodles that I fucking bought every box, mine! I fucking bought them. And you know what? I fucking love noodles, and I love them my whole life! I love them my- and you know why? You know why I love them? Because when I was a little boy, my dad used to buy me all the fucking noodles I wanted. He bought me all the noodles. If I said, Daddy, I want some noodles, he fucking bought them. And you know why he bought them? Because he's a smart fucking guy! You don't even know! You don't even know! That's the last thing we always have to say when we leave. You don't even know. You don't even, you don't even know. You don't even 